so much on the line when we, when we play them. Um, and, you know, this is a year-round thing for us. I mean, this is something we've been talking about since January. Um, you know, so we're ready. What do you think that does for you, sort of having to always be in the mind? It's, it's um, you know, it, it's that, you know, it, it presents that level of respect, um, you know, for the opponent. Um, and then, you know, also, it's all you, when it's all you hear and you're around, you know, it's constantly in your mind, you know, it's, it's something that's been planted there since I was 18 and I walked here, you know, walked into the weight room the first day, you know, to the, lot, to, to the most recent. How do you think it'll feel starting the first game? I can't wait. I can't wait. It's something I've dreamed about. Josh, what was the, what do you think, you guys have been playing in the Tony's work, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think you showed everybody today? Um... I don't, you know, I mean, we, we have, you know, blown most people's doors off, you know, for, for the season. But, um, you know, I think <clears throat> I think we could have today. I think we were, we were capable of that. Um, and, and we shot ourselves in the foot and got us in the ball game. Uh, that was tighter than it probably should have been, um, which, which it is what it is. You know, t truth be told, in the long run, it's probably a good thing that it happened. Yeah. To be honest, because yeah. later on it'll, it'll be beneficial for us that we've been in that stressful situation before. Josh, Josh what are the conversations like when you turn the ball over on those two plays? They score quickly, you know, 14 points out of nowhere. What's the conversation with the offense about regrouping? Yeah, it's kind of just you know stop the stop the bleeding, basically. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, one of our big mantras is, is get two first downs. Um, you know, every every possession when we get the ball, we want to get at least two first downs. Um, you know, so that's that's one of the things that we referred to in that time, and then just obviously taking care of the ball, and um, you know, not not changing anything. You know, it, what we've been doing, have been working all game. We just let the ball get loose a couple times. What does it do for an offensive line when you guys have 91 rushing yards in the first drive of the game? Uh, definitely gave us a lot of confidence. Um, you know, we we haven't started a whole lot of of games like that this season, I guess. You know, some of the bigger games we haven't started like that, you know, like Michigan State and, and uh, you know, some of those. Uh, so it, it gave us a lot of confidence, um, and, man, it felt good. It felt good. You got a title. I'm sure you won four titles, right? This is the first one the Big Ten easy. Yep. Trip to Indy. But uh, what, what's the benefit of being in this kind of slugfest next weekend? Yeah. Um, you know, next weekend is just a different level of everything. You know, it's – it's. Uh, it's just different. Unless I don't know how to explain it. it. Yeah. It's just different. It's just different. Um, and, you know, having that, the, the, the slug fest under our belt is definitely going to be beneficial for us in the long run. Is it good almost that you did wrap up the division today? The next week's game is just solely about beating Michigan? Yeah. It's, you know, um, obviously we're super happy we, we, we uh, wrapped up the division today. Um, yeah, next week is just... Get the boys, let's go play. That's good. Do you yeah. run as much as you guys did today? Is that a mindset different? First of all, did you know you were going to come in and run it that much? Um, you know, we never really know, I don't think. You know, I mean, obviously we assume that we're going to be able to run the ball, and that's something that we'll refer to a lot. Um, you know, but we take what the defense gives, you know. Um, so if, if the running game wasn't working today but the pass was there, then we would have passed however many times. I think we had 60 rushing attempts or something like that. It's crazy. From the quarterback. Yeah. Crazy, but um, yeah. So we just we just took what they what they gave us, and you know the rushing game was working, so we stuck to it. Is this the first time in the second half that you really thought that? Like I know you never want to let it slip in your mind that maybe you could lose, but it never really felt like that before. No, I mean it was it was a different feeling for sure. But I, you know I think our offense had faith in our defense and, and that they would step up and, and uh, you know get us the ball back, and you know of course they did so. Josh, um, Brandon was saying that the hits that Justin was taking were making him cringe. Um, mm -hmm. We're all clear up in the press box. Can you give us sort of the gladiator's eye view of what was going on with, with Justin today? Yeah, you know, he did take a lot of hits. I think they, I didn't know this, but he had 20 rushing attempts. So, you know, you're going to take some hits in that situation. Um, and then he, he took that one, you know, late in the fourth quarter and was down. And it's your, your heart sinks to your stomach. It really does. Uh, thankfully, you know, I think he's okay. Um, so, boy, it makes you nervous, though. It does. It does. Um, but, he, you know, he's such a warrior, such a fighter. Um, so, he's proud of him. Is there, like, a flash in your mind when, when Justin goes down? Because, I mean, when he go, you can hear it in the crowd. All of a sudden, it just gets purely silent. Oh, it was pitched. It was oh, no, silent. I could hear it. Oh, no, there wasn't silent behind well, me. Believe me, there were some. <laughs>
Yeah, it was. From what I could hear, it was it was silent. Yeah, it was. Uh, everyone in the stadium was thinking the same thing. I think. What you see out of JK today, and what does it mean to be able to just coach, coaching staff clearly trust him because after the fumble, right back to him. Yeah, kept riding. Him. Yeah, I mean JK has been a guy who's produced for us for three years. Um, you know, and has been super consistent. Um, and you know, I think he needed that. You know. Um, you know, he had some, you know, he, he gave the ball up. Was it one or two times? I don't know. It was once? I think, I think he was one. One? Okay. Uh, yeah, he gave the ball up once, and, you know, we, we put him right back in there because we all have faith in him, you know, as a player. And we knew he would take care of the ball after that. It was just one of those things. Thank you.